Hi, I'm Radha Nagarajan, CTO at Infi Corporation. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about 400G ZR, coherent transport plug for IP over DWDM applications in switches and routers. First, let's look at the evolution of optical technology um, over time in data center interconnect space. Data center interconnects are broadly defined as optical communications over distances greater than two kilometers and anywhere up to 10,000 kilometers and beyond where data centers between continents are interconnected using submarine cables. The technology choices in the past have depended on the distance covered all the way from uh, PAM4 at 100 gig direct detect for DCI edge up to 100 kilometers and DCI Metro up to 600 kilometers generally used the coherent modulation format. And the long haul DCI interconnects used coherent modulation formats, but of a lower complexity. And all the way from um, 100 gig gigabits per second to 600 gigabits per second. Things have evolved. Today you can pretty much do DCI at any distance using a single plug at 100, 200, and 400 gig, uh, a pluggable digital coherent optics module would suffice. And this is all possible by the 400G ZR and ZR plus standards standardized through OIF and IEEE. We'll get to the details um, of the standards uh, in a moment. And uh, the within data center segment up to two kilometers is still DR4, FR4 based on CWDM wavelengths at 1300 nanometers. So the pluggable coherent form factors traditionally have been CFP2s. They would fit six to eight modules per one RU line card, and the capacity was 100 gigabits per second to 200 gigabits per second per module and they were capable of dissipating 20 watts in power. The evolution is to something much smaller called the QSFPDD form factor. Up to 32 modules of this size may be accommodated on a one RU line card. And this pluggable module has 400 gigabits per second capacity and it is designed for about 20 watts power dissipation. Colors to falls in this category. So the capacity in a one RU line card has gone up by a factor of six. The data set interconnects traditionally have been based on what are called DCI boxes, where gray optics, 400 gig FR4 or DR4 interconnects the switches and routers to a coherent box, which then converts it into a coherent DWDM optical format for transmission of optical fibers. What this does, the introduction of a colors to module does is it shrinks, it eliminates the two gray modules and the box and shrinks the DCI box layer, completely eliminates it into a pluggable module, which then can be plugged directly into the switch or a router. This is a complete reimagination um, of the coherent DCI interconnect in the, in the uh, 400G space. The Colors2 module is based on two uh, critical technologies. One is the advanced seven nanometer CMOS DSP, Canopus, and the other is the advanced silicon photonics node uh, from a commercial uh, by CMOS foundry. The typical module power consumption is about 15 watts. The electrical input follows the IEEE 802.3 standard, eight by 26.5625 gigabaud PAM4. And the output, the optical output is a single wavelength, 16 qualm, 59.8 gigabaud. These modules um, shown on the left are designed nominally for a 120 kilometer single span reach. 
the silicon photonics performance in the color two module is shown on the slide. The Mark Zender modulators typically have bandwidth in excess of 35 gigahertz, uh, approaching 40 gigahertz. The high-speed germanium photodetectors, which are integrated into the silicon photonics circuit, have bandwidth easily in excess of 40 gigahertz. One of the key performance, key components, actually, in a coherent silicon photonics chip is the polarization beam splitter or the polarization beam combiner and a rotator. The lower right hand, lower left hand chart shows the performance of a polarization beam splitter or the entire C band with very high extinction ratio and a very low loss. The key to the standardization of 400G ZR is the 400G FEC standard, uh, the CFEC, which was invented at INFAR and proposed to OIF, IEEE, and ITUT. They've all been adopted as the standard for the DCI reach. A concatenated FET um, is a concatenation of two FETs. CFAC is a concat concatenated FET. The inner code closest to the channel is tuned for the channel, and the outer code cleans up the errors left by the inner code. The main design goal of the CFAC was power consumption. It's a 15% overhead FET with about 10.8 dB net coding gain, and it's got ultra low power consumption a burst tolerance of uh, 1024 bits and a latency of about four microseconds. And uh, the chart on the right shows the emulation, uh, actually using emulation hardware, that this code has no floors or flares down to 1E minus 15 bit error rate. This chart shows the performance of the colors two module at 80 kilometers distance. The specification for this in the OIF and IEEE standard is 26 dB OSNR. We are about 2 dB better than the required uh, performance specification. And on the top right hand picture, you can see a fully loaded switch where you have a series of colors, two modules going into a line system, which is shown off uh, the picture. And the spectrum at the bottom right hand corner shows the a fully loaded line system uh, with a variety of um, colors to marshal. In this particular example, there are 32 channels uh, loaded into a line system. This slide shows a typical switch to switch system setup. So if we were to look at both ends, the unit labeled in white is the traffic generator that starts on the transmit side. And the two units labeled in red are two commercial switches. They are from two different vendors. Both have a color stool module plugged into them. And the units labeled in blue are the line system. And the fiber spools are hidden behind the laptops. So what we actually have is a interoperability between two different line system, two different line systems and two different switch systems using a common colors two module. And this setup has been running error free as you can tell from the uh, screenshot uh, on the left hand side. The colors two module was recently recognized by the Lightwave magazine for a innovation award at um, OFC 2020. On a scale of one to five, we scored a five, and one of the judges' comments was, this is the first 400G ZR module to be released to the market, and it will be key to DCI applications. This is indeed the first pluggable 400G uh, ZR module in a QSFB DD form factor meant for the uh, DCI application space. Thank you.